Right, I wanted to make a quick video just to explain um, how I've used Twilio to gather audio data from a phone call. So the problem that I had was that in Twilio you've either got a gather verb or a record verb. So the gather verb, it can um, transcribe what the person has said on the call and it can give you a confidence score of how accurate it thinks its transcription is. So that's good, but we don't get an actual recording. So with the record verb, you do get a recording and you get a transcription, but you don't get a confidence score. And I kind of needed a confidence score to do some more stuff with. So this video is going to be an overview of how I've put the two things together. So what we do is we come into this collect details section and you go through a bunch of menus. You end up here, basically. Um, we want to start a call recording using Twilio's own API. So you do recordings.create and then I've set the recording status callback to Q01. All that is, is an Integromat, um, where is it? There we go. An Integromat webhook. So if you need me to explain Integromat anymore, um, let me know um, and I can make a video on that. But basically what that means is we've started this recording. When the recording finishes, all the data um, from that recording is going to be sent to Integromat we're going to extract that data and then we're going to save it to a Google spreadsheet. So that's all that bit is. And recording channels dual just means that you're going to have a stereo recording, make it a bit more clear. So while this has started, the really cool bit about this is that we can now record and then while it's recording, we can do our gather so we can gather our audio data. So we're saying to the caller, please leave a brief message. And then all these bits are just the different types of um, variables. So Speech timeout auto, that just means when the person stopped talking, then we stop gathering. Um, we're gathering English, um, British, and then once we're done, we're going to gather underscore collect, which is this section here. So you've said, please leave a brief description, you know, say something. You, the, well, the caller says something and they stop talking, it goes into this bit. And when it comes into this bit, we are going to stop the current recording. So. Twilio.current and we set the status to stopped. So that bit of code stops the recording there. Now, if we detect speech, which hopefully we have because we asked them to say something, then we set the speech result. That is um, Twilio's own transcription and the confidence score, which is Twilio's confidence score of what it transcribed. And then I've just added this little bit in here, um, multiplied it by a hundred just so it's a bit nicer. So you get like 95 point something. So it's a bit more like a percent. Um, Right, then we say, thank you, we've recorded this and logged it in our database. Uh, ask IT for a link to the data. Um, so I'm making this for my team and then they can just ask me, this is like just a little demo, so they can ask me, I'll send them a link to the spreadsheet and then they can have a look. Um, right, so this is the bit here now where we're gonna log that data to the spreadsheet. So webhook Q01, that's the Integromat bit that we set at the top. I'll explain that a bit more in a second. And then Twilio data, this is in JSON format. We get our speech result, which is what we've transcribed. We get our confidence score. Um, we get the call SID and the caller's phone number. So that's all set up there, which is, there we go, caller. And then this bit is where we post all the stuff to our webhook. So it's going to a webhook, which is Q01. Uh, the data is gonna be Twilio data. That's all of this stuff in JSON format. And then we just say, this is gonna be in JSON format here. So if I take a breath there, what we've done is we started a recording, we asked the caller to um, leave some data, then we stopped the recording once the data had been left, we then transcribe the data and get a confidence score and we're gonna send that to our webhook and then sort of at the same time, sort of afterwards whenever it happens, we're using the same webhook and we're sending the recording data to there as well. So if I go to the webhook here, this is the webhook. All these variables that I'm setting here, they are just grabbing the variables. They're grabbing like the confidence score and everything. They're just grabbing all the stuff from the webhook. And we're popping it into Google Sheets, which goes into here. And you can see we get uh, the question Q01. So that's what I've said. I've, I've hard coded that. So I'd use a different webhook for every question um, just so then it's you can hard code which question it is. Um, we get the CLI. So you've got my phone number in there. You can see these ones. I hadn't added a CLI yet. 
and then you get a transcription. So hopefully this has my confidence score as well as my CLI locked. So I didn't say locked, I said um, logged, I think. Um, so confidence score 95.47. And then you've got the um, call SID in there. So that one and that one, they both match. So you can tell that these two records here go together, which is really cool. And you get a recording URL. So if I click on that, I could go there and I could hear the um, I could hear the recording, which is awesome. And you get the recording start time and then just a timestamp of when everything was logged. So we have got um, we've got audio that our caller has recorded. So we've got an actual file. We've got a confidence score and we've got a transcription. And what was really nice actually is in the transcription, let's even put a comma in there. So that's really cool. So that is how I have kind of um, collected audio data in Twilio using Python and got everything I need. I've got a transcription, I've got a confidence score, I've got a CLI, and I've got an actual recording. So there's a lot more you can do with this, um, but I think that's going to be good enough for a demo, and then you can kind of build on that. But yeah, let me know if there if you've got any questions or anything else you want me to kind of explain, um, or if you want me to go into detail with Integromat a bit more. And yeah, I'll try and go from there. But thanks for watching, and I hope that uh, helps you out.